Joining me right now, one of those Dems who doesn't seem to see what's wrong with all this, former Hillary Clinton advisor Philip Reines. Philippe Reines, forgive me, I keep forgetting you've got the French thing going on. Also with me, Fox News contributor Deneen Borelli. Good to see you both. Um, Thank you, Trish. Hey, Trish. Philippe, you tweeted out, and I quote, this White House employee got physical with Jim Acosta, but not a single protester touched Sarah Sanders, Kirsten Nielsen, Stephen Miller, Ted Cruz, or Mitch McConnell, not one. Okay, so we can split this into two parts here. Let's start, first of all, with her getting physical with Jim Acosta. Uh, I'm happy to play the tape for you again. His no, time I mean, I, was I, up, and uh, it, he's, he's a man, bigger. He's stronger than this young woman. His time was up, yet he's refusing to surrender that microphone. I, I, I find the whole thing extraordinarily it's, it's not a unprofessional <laughs> and inappropriate. Well, look, I, I was watching live, and uh, I've managed press conferences, and I've been a staffer at press conferences. I was really upset watching for that young lady, not because Jim Acosta was doing anything to her or not. No, you're saying she that, got physical. In other words, this is somehow no, 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 her no, fault, too, Philippe? You divide it. You divide it half. Let me divide it half. I was upset that someone put her in that situation. She's an intern. It's, someone should have had uh, the manager, whoever you know supervises what I'm upset her. About? I'm upset what? about that, that this guy doesn't have enough manners to know that he's already gotten his questions and that there are other reporters in the room and there are additional questions that need I to think be you're asked focusing. and that someone is coming and taking the microphone so that they can then pass it along to the next person. He I just like a spoiled little kid won't thing. give it away. It's his think, toy. <laughs> for a guy who had such a resounding victory in the midterms, he was looking awfully cranky and despondent today and he was All right, now you're looking changing the subject. Fight. I disagree with that. No, I think Jim Acosta was looking for a fight. Did you no, hear the opening of that? questions? I did. And it, right before he even said the topic, Trump said, okay, here we go. And we heard, heard the oh, topic. The question laughable. was caravan. It's become laughable. It's amazing and, and how no, we no, heard no, about no. the caravan and the every question, day for a month. The question was about how he believes and his network believes uh, that somehow they're demonizing all immigrants by referring to these migrants that are coming in and saying that, that they that he don't had deserve not been to be here. About the anyway, you're, you're, you're diverting from the issue at hand, which was this inappropriate behavior with this young White House staffer. Deneen, I'll go to you on this. This because yeah. again, I watched it and I, I, I mean, I was stunned, I was shocked, I was nervous, I was worried for her. I wondered if the president was going to have to come down from the podium and actually uh, wrestle the microphone away from Jim Acosta I don't, I don't Acosta think you have to worry himself. about that. He made this yeah, intern do clearly, his dirty work. Clearly, uh, Jim Acosta clearly crossed the line. And this girl was only doing her job. I don't blame her one bit. This is all Jim Acosta's fault. First of all, it's all about him. Anytime he is in this press room, I, was, I served in the press room for about three months when uh, Trump first took office. It was an absolute circus, and it has got, it's gotten worse now. It's all about these uh, agenda-driven uh, left-wing so-called reporters. They're supposed to be reporting news and facts, but they're not. It's all about them getting the headlines and getting in the news. And that's what Jim Acosta got. We're talking about him. He's making the, the rounds on the I news I don't think tonight. this is the and kind of way you want to be in the news, though. I mean, maybe, maybe they're looking at it as, you know, any news is good news, you but guys to me, act like uh, this is, this supposed is not to be a appropriate rally. stuff. If, if reporters don't act like a rally and cheer and clap at everything Donald Trump says, that they're unprofessional. So you're condoning what Jim Acosta did today? I, first of all, I think we should talk about what Donald Trump did today. No, what we're Donald talking Trump about Jim today. Acosta. That's no, the memo that's I because, got today. I don't know what memo you got. But that's because no, no, no. it's convenient for you to focus on this can young I, woman. Can I finish also who what Donald Philippe Trump is saying? To, hang on one second, Philippe, because again, we're, we're talking about his behavior. And, and the president answered his a ton of questions. He went on for what, 90 minutes after that whole ordeal. Yeah. But you say uh, not a single protester touched Sarah Sanders, Kirsten Nielsen, Stephen Miller, Ted Cruz, or Mitch McConnell, not one. Sanders. I think it's hysterical that someone goes so up to Sarah think Sanders words can hurt, and says, please don't take my cheese plate away. And then this young woman oh, gets put in a bad position. Yes, yeah, so and all of a sudden, all. we're so here we go with a revisionist yeah, your, your version girl, of history Hillary again. Clinton, she uh, called for uh, Democrats to not be civil to Republicans. Do you agree with that? I agree that people should protest when they are in a position to protest people. people not a single person touched Sarah Sanders, wow. Kirsten Nielsen. Stephen Miller, Would it be appropriate Ted for Cruz people to follow you and your people family do. into a, a restaurant and heckle you and, and disturb you? <clears throat> There's a difference between something being unpleasant 
and something being inappropriate. Look, Trish, you get threats, you get nasty mail. Deneen probably does too. I get my I gotta share tell of it. You, my viewers are actually pretty nice. Well, I, <laughs> knock I, on wood, I they're pretty you, good people. I would feel, you know, I would and feel and pretty I good actually, if I were you protected by your. I don't think your... anybody deserves to get those no. kind of threats. No, but no. no one deserves also to be thrown out of the White House. I mean, it's petulant to say, oh my this is my it. house. Oh, my oh, it was a Deneen. long time coming. Come on. Please. Long time all right, all right. coming. Let, let's cut to the chase here. You saw if the tape, Democrat, right? If a Democrat you saw threw the tape. you guys out of the White House, <laughs> it would be all hell would break loose. Deneen. You would say, what a snowflake president can't what handle he, questions. It's, it's, did you not see it? I mean, do we have to I play the darn it. thing again? I'm happy to do it again and again and again and again I until you understand, you Philippe, it. how inappropriate and how wrong this was. I'll tell you who else saw it. Someone tweeted not that long ago that what the president did was inappropriate. And if you don't enjoy something that's different than the press is right, that's not me. That was Jeb Bush. It was Jeb Bush who tweeted that what the president did today was wrong. All right. Now, I, I think he got up there. He answered a heck of a lot of questions. Far more, by the way, than President he Obama was cranky. used to answer. Look, I cranky. If I lost What's he have Congress, to be cranky I'd about? Be, he lost the House. Yeah. I'd be cranky too. You know, everybody thought that they would lose that. They lost a whole lot less than Impressive. you guys were hoping I know. for. So I know. much it for that blue a, wave. It was a secret victory, and we got suckered into taking the House <laughs> off your hands. Uh, I'll <laughs> tell you, it, not my hands, by the way. We're talking about the country and the, the health collective. of the country. And yes. I would like to see, for the country's sake, people aligned in a way that they can actually get some policy through and policy done so that we don't go back to those gridlock well, guys, years we saw during Obama's The guy's got to get used to being pressed by oversight and by media. He just can't handle it. And that's what uh, you saw today. No. Yeah, well, He's got to toughen up right, agenda final in to the Deneen, House. And then I yeah, and Dems, their agenda is, is to continue uh, obstructing the president with anything he does to investigate, to look into his finances, his taxes, impeach, subpoenas. So that's what their agenda is. It's not an agenda for the American Americans. people disagree with you. And they, and they meanwhile, said that. you got the mainstream media video. out there <laughs> attempting to uh, intimidate uh, and just, you know, I guess filibuster with the microphone. Thank it has you so nothing much. Nothing to Deneen. do with the internet. <laughs> Philippe, thank you.